Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to uh, Working Man Ron Doyle. Come up on the job site and uh, we had a little bit of a delay on this particular house behind me. Getting it uh, hooked up with uh, DeMarvel Power due to uh, uh, the difficulty of getting the main feed over to the house. Uh, originally it was going to be uh, line board across the road over to that pole that you see right there. And they ended up doing a drop, which you can see right there coming down and it goes under the ground to this corner of the house got the meter plugged in the uh, linemen were leaving as i was pulling up to the job now that i'm here i uh turn the main breaker on and uh put this uh, we have to install a uh, single pole uh, 20 amp breaker for uh, temporary power for them to initiate power on the outside and the other breakers a dead breaker uh, it's just to fill in the voids that are uh, punched out because of the uh, square D pre breaking or pre breaking the two spots out on uh, number one and number two space well turning this main breaker in the on position which it's on right now I've got this breaker on I'm gonna set you up in the stand do a voltage reading uh, now that the motor power is gone and uh, see if we have see, we, see if we have an issue here so we've got our nice Klein CL110 broken clamp meter um, I still haven't done anything with it other than uh, it does work for voltage you can see the uh, voltage on the screen I'll bring you in a little closer so uh, check the left leg first. All right, so we got 121.8 on the uh, voltage on the left leg. The right leg we got 0.597. We have got a bad main breaker in this square D 3060 panel. Uh, so. Since I've been installing these square D panels, this has happened uh, three times so far in, in the process of a couple hundred of these panels that I've installed. Um, way that we've got to go about changing this out now, I've got to call the motor power back out to the house. Uh, they've got to pull the meter socket because since 9-11 they, uh, they haven't allowed us to do that. Um, you could get a uh, special training course to pull meters. Uh, I haven't went through that process. I'm not really messing with them a whole lot, so I'm going to just keep it the way I am and uh, just call them back out. They're going to have to make an extra trip, but uh, I'm going to have to make an extra trip, go get a, uh, a brand new main breaker, 200 amp main breaker, and swap this out when they come back. Uh, originally, I had found out I had a problem when I turned the main on, turned this 120 volt breaker on, and I went to, to uh, reset the GFI. Because usually brand new, these things are, are tripped right from uh, brand new out of the package. And uh, the light will glow, and you reset it to initiate power. And when I realized that I couldn't reset it, I realized there was a bigger issue. So uh, checking to see if that GFI works. Turn the main back off. See if i got enough wire to get to the other side. But this is not the way you want to leave it. But I've got it plugged onto the uh, the other bus bar, and all right. So now you can see. Now you can see that that pilot light is actually glowing, and I've just reset it. I've got my uh, Reliance. Um, Reliance Controls GFCI Checker. Uh, it's got an audible signal. They call it a uh, circuit scout. So I've got the siren off. Plugging this in, it's, it's showing its wire correctly. And I just manually tripped it. Now the circuit scout, the way that they work, if it's got power, it uh, sounds off so that you can do remote work at different locations. Uh, but that's really not what this video is about. This video is about uh, 
running into incidentals on the job site that are uh, sometimes unexpected and uh, I'm almost willing to uh, install actually carry a couple extra of these in my service truck now I'm thinking I probably need to start doing that uh, like I said this is the third time I've ran into a main breaker in I don't know maybe it's it's probably been over a period of like a 10 year span I've ran into three of them which is not that bad uh, but look uh, ladies and gentlemen uh, just give you a little insight uh, you know what I've got to do to uh, to change this brand new main breaker out it's effective uh, let me know down in the comment sections if uh, if you all are sparkies out there that uh, have ran into the same issue with um, these mains being uh, bad in either Square D, Cutler Hammer, or any of the other brands. Uh, yeah, give me a shout out. Let me know at the bottom in the comment section. Greatly appreciate it. Hey, look, y'all be safe out there. Have a blessed and wonderful day. Until the next time, stay safe.